Hey, what's up YouTube? In this quick video, I wanted to share with you guys a solution I found to fix a common problem that a lot of people are having with the Electra jailbreak, and that is the city icon not appearing after you have run through the jailbreak process, but it looks to be as if you're jailbroken. All right, so before I jump into today's video, if you guys would like a written tutorial of the steps done in this video, there is one available on besttechinfo.com, so don't forget to check out that for all the download links and a written tutorial of this process. But if you guys appreciate this video walkthrough, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and of course subscribe before you go. All right, let's get into today's news. So I didn't make a video on this yesterday because I personally had not experienced this problem yet, but yesterday when I was restoring my device to iOS 11.4 Beta 3 and when I first attempted to jailbreak, I actually had this problem come up, and that is when I ran through the Electra jailbreak, it went through steps 2 out of 3, and it said installing Cydia, and it finally came up with this, showing me that my device is jailbroken. You can tell that you're in the jailbroken state when it says share Electra instead of enable jailbreak or jailbreak. So I know the jailbreak process did work, but the city icon was absent from the home screen. So in this quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem. So the first thing I did to fix this problem was I went ahead and restarted my device. I really didn't know if SSH capabilities were going to work or not. There was no prompt notifying me that they were enabled, Thus, I wanted to quickly restart my device and re-enable the jailbreak, but turning off this tweaks option at the bottom just so that SSH capabilities are present. And as you guys can see, the prompt does come up on the second time I ran through the jailbreak utility, showing me that SSH is now possible. So again, guys, to fix this problem of Cydia not showing up, we're actually going to need to head over to the computer in order to run one terminal command via an SSH client. All right, so very quickly, I'm gonna go over the steps to SSH into your device. Again, you will need an SSH client like Cyberduck that I'm using in today's tutorial. Now it's available for Windows and Mac. All right, so to get started, you're gonna open a connection up in the top left, navigate down to SFTP. Your server name is your iPhone's IP address. And I kind of forgot about this, but I just jailbroke my device, so it was still in airplane mode, and both your phone and the computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So I went ahead and turned the Wi-Fi network on, if you navigate to the settings app and then to Wi-Fi, and then if you click the little blue icon next to your Wi-Fi that you're connected to, that will show you your iPhone's IP address, which again, we're going to put in the server name on the SSH client. Again, we're going to use port 22. Your username is root and your password is Alpine. And then you can click connect down in the bottom right. All right, so now we're just going to navigate to the root of the file system optionally, but ultimately we're just going to open up a terminal window, enter our password, which is again Alpine, and all we need to do is run this command on your screen right now. It's UI cache, all in lowercase, no caps, and no quotes around it like it has in the article. But once the command is typed out in the terminal window, all you have to do is click enter. And that is it, guys. Once the command has finished running, Cydia will now be on your home screen of your iPhone. So I'm just going to wait a second for it to finish up for you guys to see how long it takes for this command to run. And there we go. It just finished up. Now, here is what it looks like on your iPhone side of things. So again, this is just what it looks like side by side. You're going to enter the command in the terminal window. It does take a second to run. But you guys will notice almost immediately when the command finishes that Cydia then appears on your iPhone's home screen. On the far right, it's going to be the last icon that shows up. There we go. There is Cydia at the same exact time that the command finished running on the computer. Again, then we can just go ahead and open it up. Cydia is fully functioning. Again, you guys were entirely jailbroken. It just did not show up on the home screen. And again, there is Cydia on iOS 11.4. So I hope this quick little tutorial helps you guys out. Again, you're going to need a computer regardless at some point to do this fix, either with SSHing into it or sideloading an app like Filesa to do all the commands on device. This way to me is just easier and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Anyway guys, give this video a huge thumbs up if you've successfully managed to jailbreak your devices on iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.4 Beta 3. And again, don't forget to subscribe before you head out to stay on top of the latest jailbreaking news. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.